Hi, welcome to another exciting episode of Chop, Eat, Repeat. This is me, Harsh, and today I'm going to teach you a very beautiful, decadent chocolate mousse recipe. Now, who does not like chocolate? We all love chocolate, and this chocolate mousse recipe has no egg and no gelatin. So, for all you hardcore vegetarians, trust me, this is a delight. So, let's get ready to make some chocolate mousse. So this is a very quick, easy chocolate mousse recipe where I'm going to start with boiling some milk and adding some butter. So in a saucepan, I've taken some milk and I'm adding butter to this and allowing it to completely melt. Ensure that the uh, flame is low. Otherwise, there are chances that the milk can burn. We don't want burnt chocolate mousse here. Now, for this chocolate mousse, you will need a whipping cream. You get ready whipping cream in the market. We need to whip it to a mid-peak efficiency. And once you get that, we'll be using that. I'll show you what to do with the whipping cream when we come to it. So now, as you can see, that the milk is hot enough. I am adding chopped cooking chocolate to this. If you feel that the pan is too hot, take it off the stove and let the chocolate melt in the residual heat of the milk and butter. If it's too hot, your chocolate will burn and collapse. We don't want that to happen. So as you can see that the chocolate is melting and we will leave it to cool down and let me show you how to make some whipped cream now. So the whipping cream that we are using is uh, Rich's whipping cream. This is a non-dairy whipping cream, very easy to use, very versatile and it, it increases in volume by about three times. So you need to ensure that you take the correct volume. I am going to show you how one cup of whipping cream turns out just for your knowledge. You can do this whipping in a uh, stand mixture, you can do this with a handheld one which I am using right now. Okay, so now the whipping cream is ready. And how do you check if your cream has been whipped and it's ready to be used? You see the peaks, if they form and stay as they are, that means it is completely whipped. So your whipping cream is now ready to be used. Right, so uh, the whipped cream is ready. Uh, I've cooled it in the fridge for a few minutes so it can set. And my chocolate and milk mixture is also cooled down. You have to ensure that it is absolutely cool, otherwise it, it can melt your whipped cream. I am taking a bowl and I am going to fold both of them together. Basically, I am going to add the chocolate milk mixture into the whipped cream. So I'm going to fill these uh, little plastic cups with the chocolate mousse. You can also use beautiful wine glasses or regular glass cups to set your chocolate mousse. These go into the refrigerator for about 4 hours or up till the time they are completely set. Putting this into the freezer. So 
so my chocolate mousse is set after about 5 hours in the refrigerator and I'm ready to garnish this to serve it to my guests. So let me show you how to garnish this and make this really pretty. I've got some white and dark chocolate shavings. So my great chocolate mousse is ready to be served. Absolutely eggless, no gelatin and perfect for you vegetarians. I hope you've enjoyed watching me today on Chop It Repeat. Please come back and watch some more of my videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to press the like button. This is Harsh signing off today.